How you guys doing today? My name is Lee Cross. I was born and raised in Bryan College State. Ooh, this is attached to the microphone stand. All right, I'm just gonna adjust that real quick. All right, so I know you guys are looking at me, and the one thing you're thinking is this guy definitely does CrossFit. He's, he's probably also a vegan. So if you want to hit me up with some workout or diet tips or anything, hit me up after the show. All right, that was a lie. I, I don't do CrossFit. And I'm definitely not a vegan. And uh, I'm one of those guys that I don't let my food allergies stop me from enjoying food. So when they have endless shrimp at Red Lobster, I just load up on my EpiPens. And I'm sitting there in that restaurant. It looks like a scene from Pulp Fiction. I'm just sitting there enjoying those jumbo shrimp. Just chowing them down. Oh, no. Throat's, throat's season up. Ah, that's what daddy likes. You know, because there's nothing better than eating shellfish with an adrenaline rush. Another thing I like doing is I love going to Jack in the Box. Jack in the Box tacos are the best food in the world, hands down. Cool thing about Jack in the Box tacos, back when I was in high school, they were $1.19. In 2019, they're still $1.19. Yeah. Jack in the Box tacos are not immune to inflation. Shout out to Jack, making a great product. So what I like to do is uh, I'm part of this workout routine that I'm creating. It's called Cross Thick with three C's. So basically Cross Thick is this. You go to the gym, you do whatever you want. Be it yoga, I like to lift weights, but after you get done, you go to the Jack in the Box and get 10 tacos and eat, and eat it down. So I've got this nice bulk. I've been doing it for about 30 years. <coughs> And so uh, one day I was driving to the Jack in the Box near my house and all of a sudden there was a fence around it. And I was thinking, oh man, Donald Trump, you done screwed up now. Putting a fence around my Jack in the Box taco. I ran over there, grabbed that fence screaming, Donald Trump, tear down this wall! And I got really winded when I did that. And one of the construction workers came over and he was like, Hey, hey, buddy, we're just tearing it down and building a new one. I was like, oh, we're making America great again. So I, I actually do uh, have an issue with my weight, so I have been going to the gym. And I, I got a personal trainer to really help me get back to where I, I need to go. And uh, it's been going really good. For the last two weeks, I've dropped about uh, 15 pounds. And, you know, my, the one thing about my trainer is he, he's kind of like a sadist, but also my bro. So like during the workout, he's just like, come on, man, give me another squat. You got it in you? I don't think you got it in you. And then I do the squat. He's like, good job, bro. I'm proud of you, man. Slap hands, hug, you know, typical bro stuff. And so one day I got, I was coming to the gym, get ready for the workout, but I was feeling real hungry. And I had a craving for a honey bun. That sugary glazed sweetness. So I stopped by the gas station and I got one. And I told myself, oh, this would be a quick, quick energy, you know, a little boost for the workout. And I go to the gym and my trainer goes, hey, Lee, how's everything going? I'm like, man, I'm feeling great. Let's get this workout knocked out. He's like, you've been doing good on your diet? And I was like, been doing great on my diet. And then my little angel on my shoulder, hey, Lee, you ate that honey bun and you just lied. And so I was like, you know what? Mama raised me right. And I said, hey, hey, Trevor. I gotta be honest with you, man. I, I lied. I ate a honey bun before I came in here. And he was like, oh, wow. Man, I was, you were doing so great, man. And uh, mm, I'm, I'm not madly, I'm disappointed. It's not like my mom. And he's like, you know what? I had a really easy workout for you, but we're gonna work off that honey bun. I was like, yeah, dude, you know, whatever. I, I deserve to be punished for this. So he's like, how many, how many calories were in that honey bun? And I'm like, oh, probably about 450. He's like, all right, we're going to do 450 burpees today. Now, for y'all that don't know what a burpee is, it is the worst workout exercise ever. Basically, what you do, you start to squat, go all the way down, into a push-up, do a push-up, and then you jump back up. I'm going to let y'all know right now, my 400 pounds, body was not ready for that. And after 20 of them, I was just like, you don't deserve this, Lee. You ate a honey bun. It was a moment of weakness. You should just quit. And then it dawned on me. I hear all these terrible stories about people who have terrible experiences with trainers, but they keep going through the workout. 
Just leave. You're paying them. So I'm just like, I'm done, dude. This, I'm done. I'm not doing this anymore. He's like, what are you talking about? I was like, I'm, I'm not doing 450 burpees. There is no way. They're, I, we're going to go through this second story onto the yoga mats. And we don't want that. So I walked out, and I pretty much started a coup with that personal trainer, because all his other clients, when they found out I quit, because they didn't like a workout, started leaving as well. Ladies and gentlemen, my name's Lee Cross. Woo!